uh, through Mr. Chair. It is quite unfortunate that as we sit here, Kenyans have died and have been mistreated in some parts of the world where they go to seek uh, employment. It is quite a shame I found out that we've lost 85 Kenyans in the last three months and about a thousand have been repatriated, especially from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia where they have gone. I've looked into the matter and I've seen systematic failure in systems from how they are recruited here and how they are led uh, to operate in, when they get to uh, Saudi Arabia and other places. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a friendly country. Uh, we have an embassy there, they have an embassy here. Uh, the Kingdom and the government of Saudi Arabia are not involved in this. But there's a question that we're asking ourselves and that is a lot of Kenyans go overseas. They go to Qatar, they go to Dubai, United Arab Emirates, they go to Singapore, they go to many other countries, but yet they are dying in Saudi Arabia. There is a problem. I've seen a tendency where there's a blaming of the victims. I heard the other day some people saying the problem is with our girls. It's blaming the victims is very, very bad. There's a big problem, and if I am cleared and uh, nominated, uh, I'm cleared and then I'm sworn in, I'm going to ensure that we work with the labor team and the labor ministry to ensure there are systems in this country so that we are able to know who really needs to go overseas, how it is done, are these girls trained, how do they get to go there, when they arrive in Saudi Arabia or other countries, do we monitor where they are, where they live, etc., etc. Well, I'm going to put stringent measures and I'm going to make it my first trip overseas if I'm approved and sworn in will be to Saudi Arabia and the Gulf area personally to take care of this uh, problem. But more so, we have lost 85 girls within the last three months. These are Kenyan citizens. These are Kenyans. And their deaths cannot be in vain. I'm going to work with the Minister of Interior. I'm going to work closely with the uh, Saudi Arabian Embassy and, and so there, so, uh, not, uh, I mean, Saudi Arabian uh, uh, Embassy and the government so that we can even allow our DCI to go to Saudi Arabia with me and investigate each and every death that has occurred so that each and every person who participated in the death of these girls is brought to book and charged. These are Kenyan lives. We need to send a message that no Kenyan will die overseas or get out overseas and the government does nothing about it. So I'm going to lead from the front and to ensure that this never happens again. But we're going to take care of some of the systematic failures that we have seen. Uh, cartels that are operating here and other places will take care of them and ensure that the life and sanctity of Kenyans is protected. The second question was about the worth uh, before I became governor. Before I became governor, my worth was about close to, uh, let's say, over 200 uh, million. Uh, by that time, I'd already invested, and the investments have been able to grow. What I presented were assets in terms of land that I had acquired from monies that I got when I worked in the Middle East, businesses that I'd been able to start. In the form, self-declaration form, I'd also listed a few of the companies that I own, that I'm a shareholder in that list, and that shows my source of income that will be able to continue. Uh, within the next 10 years, by God's blessing, I hope to have doubled my income through uh, the businesses that are there thriving. As a Minister of Foreign Affairs, I'll not be able to participate in business much. I'll be taking care of, uh, if I'm, you know, no, I'm approved, will be taking care of the foreign interests of this country. But the businesses will take a life of their own. Uh, there's a third question about the worrying trend of governors being investigated. I'd like to go through them, uh, Mr. Chair. The first one is about Maruba Dam. I was never questioned or anything brought to me about Maruba Dam. Uh, I think there was an investigation. Somebody wrote a petition about it. All I know is that as the Maruba Dam was being scooped, I personally, and I picked the Bible and I swore, I went and I witnessed the works being done of the silting of Maruba Dam. And I think the investigative bodies, if they are investigating, let them do their work and let them charge if there was any mistake that was done. But I know that the work got done. Number two was about Danida. The 50 million being talked about Danida was money that was not properly accounted for that was moved uh, by some officers in my then government uh, 